In today's video, we are going through a short little step-by-step -step guide on how to perform one of the newer mechanics to the game, the Mactuff Reset. And who better to help us learn this than Mactuff himself? So obviously, I'm not going to be able to explain this any better than the man himself. And so Mactuff and I jumped into a private match to see if he could teach me and also teach you guys. Here's how it went. So it's a very simple concept. So all you have to do is before you flip, you have to point your bot towards the wall and be sideways. So that's a. I want to be flipping towards the wall, like the wall is right there, and yep. I want to put my bot pointing towards the wall and sideways. And you can do that in many different angles and positions. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is in the air, you just have to think of putting your your car in that position. So back end of the car towards the ball and then sideways. Yeah. So I can actually go in the air and maybe I can delay it so that you see. But it's the same thing you do with double resets. So you could actually delay here your car and you can flip anytime so you, to get the double reset. It's just like placing your car perfectly before doing the reset, which is like kind of hard because you're not used to these kinds of movements. But you, you can do it from many different angles. Like as long as you practice the flip, it's fine. Yeah, once you place your car that way, then all you have to do is do a backflip. Yep. And you cancel the backflip. So kind of a, a sideways mossy kind of thing. Okay. And all you do after that is you just press arrow for a split second. So for me, it would be the right arrow and it will do that motion. Right. Kind of. And you can do it from both sides, of course. And that's something I've been practicing lately. So that's the on the ground movement you need to learn first. Yeah. And then cool. once you get into the air, you just have to think about getting it. Nice. It's really just about positioning. Like, if you can get your car into that position, then you can definitely do it. And it's, you, you can get there in many different ways. You can get there like this, or you can get there with, this is the one I've been practicing. You can get there like this. There are a lot of different ways, but this, it's the same concept, like putting right. your, bots pointing towards the ball and then kind of just Damn. flipping into it and using a little bit of arrow yeah that's pretty much it so just a quick recap for you step one is you want the back end of your car or the butt of your car facing the ball and position your car sideways step two is trying to nail the timing now you can delay if needed it depends on where the ball is if it's higher, you want to delay it. If it's lower, you might want to go a little bit quicker. Step three, backflip. Step four, quickly cancel the backflip. And then step five, you want to air roll for a split second. If all of this is done correctly and accurately, you should end up performing the MacTuff reset. After teaching me how to do the mechanic, MacTuff then showed me how this could be put into practice by hitting a few clips using the reset. After listening to the explanation and seeing how he put it into use during the reset, I began my attempts at learning this mechanic that I previously knew nothing about. So it's like that, right? Yeah, and as long as you get there, then you just have to do like that. Just cancel a, a mossy sideways yeah there. and it has to be a perfect cancel which is it, it's usually okay. the hardest part and then once you get that you just add a little bit of arrow wait am i just not canceling properly maybe you don't have square dead zone <laughs> i don't think i do i'm not on square dead zone it's way easier with square just because the cancel is usually always there yeah it's a little more difficult with cross like way more difficult <laughs> <laughs> a little Sure. Oh, Wait, almost got doing? it. Kind of. Oh my. 
Oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like turning my the the back of my car first, and then I'm freaking out. Yeah. Oh, that was almost it. Like. Oh, really? Wait, who's this? Wait, what? I put party only. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like there, you you literally just had to tilt back. Or you can also do it how other people do it. Yeah, this is how other people do it. You use a bit of arrow left and you will end up like that. So wait, that so motion. You, wait, can you use that motion? Again? It's just arrow left and your stick uh, back and your stick up. Arrow left and stick up. Yeah, you were getting it right. But once you got here, you kind of um, yeah, you panicked. just have to tilt back to get into the butt position. Right, you yeah. want to bring the nose of your calf uh, towards the back, but the arrow gets yeah. the angle. Yeah, as long as you arrow enough. Ah. Okay. Oh no. Ah. That makes sense uh, now. Yeah, it's it's just enough so that your butt is sideways. Okay, that one felt. Better. I just gotta remember to get underneath the ball and cancel it. Yeah, go to the ceiling and do the motion. Oh, just in general? Yeah, like, because then you are upside oh, down true. From, from the reason. Right, okay, yeah, you're rolling a bit too much there. That's it. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. And now you just have to do the motion <laughs> yeah, the you did in the ground. <laughs> Is it doable in the octane, do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, sure. You can do that. Alright, I will be right back. <laughs> okay, okay. Is that better? That was much better, yes. Much, much better. Yeah. And now you just have to get the, the, the cancel, cancel right. Yeah. Alrighty, I will uh, attempt the rest yeah. over the course of the week, see how we go. Yeah. Now we just have to score one in training or anything. We're getting the, the reset, man. It's, it's, it's good. It's nice that we're getting it. So close! Hopefully with Maxov's training and seeing a little bit of progress from myself, this video can help you learn what I would say is one of the harder mechanics in the game. Now, while I might fully not have it down at the moment, some of you may be able to take on what Maxov has said and start to learn this mechanic for yourself. I did just want to say a big thank you to Maxov for helping out today. This would not have been possible without him and the link to his socials will be in the description. So, please go check him out. Otherwise, that is everything for me today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. But most importantly, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, a happy new year, and I will see you all next time.